What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Now it's time for me to talk about Mr. Robert Sylvester Kelly, a.k.a. R. Kelly, right? And R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years in prison uh, for federal racketeering and, se and sex trafficking charges, right? Which all stems from his efforts over the years to use his popularity and his fame to entangle victims he sexually abused, right? Including young girls, minors, right? And so R. Kelly gets sentenced to 30 years. And, you know, I'm looking at, you know, my community on Facebook and on Twitter and the conversations that are, you know, circling around the whole thing. And I'm sitting here and I promise y'all I'm puzzled because there are people who seem upset that R. Kelly got 30 years in prison, right? Like people are upset on outrage and, you know, uh, justice for R. Kelly. And I'm confused. That man was out here sleeping with children, little baby black girls, right? Black girls that could have been my little sister, right? Black girls that could have been my little cousin, right? I'm a father of a daughter. There is no fucking way I'm going to feel sympathy for that man. I'm not going to feel no sorrow in my heart for that man. I don't give a fuck if he's black or not. The man out here liking little girls. He has a fetish for little children. 15, 16, 17 year old little girls with his overgrown ass. So I'm not going to be out here advocating for the man. I'm just not. I don't have no sympathy for that, right? Like, I, I'm seriously, I'm watching grown ass men defend R. Kelly like it's crazy. I'm looking like, what the fuck is on your mind, right? You know this man got a problem. You know this man's sick from the, tra from the trial before. He was out here having sex with a 15-year-old girl, urinating on a 15-year-old girl on camera. Only reason he got off is because the parents lied and said it wasn't their daughter, even though it was, because they got paid off, right? And they bogus for accepting the money. But that, that does not change the fact that R. Kelly likes little girls. It does not absolve him from that, right? And he had... It, you know, he was on tape with girls, underage girls then, with threesomes and shit, with 15, 16-year-old girls. Like, what the fuck is wrong with him, right? And I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with all you grown people who feel it, who feel that it's necessary to cape for him. Like, I, I wrote this all this down. I watched a grown man say that R. Kelly didn't deserve 30 years because although he was sleeping with kids, he wasn't hunting and stealing kids and molesting them. They were brought to him. Fam, let me say this. You can bring a 15-year-old girl right to my doorstep right now and say, here, you can have her. You can do everything you want to do with her, right? And nothing will happen to that baby girl. She won't get violated or nothing because I'm not a predator. I'm not a pedophile. I don't sexualize little babies. So nothing's going to happen to that child, right? Yeah, the parents were wrong for bringing the girl to their doorstep, but R. Kelly knew what the fuck he was doing, right? He didn't have to have sex with them little girls. He didn't have to uh, uh, violate them little babies. He didn't have to sexualize them little children, but he did. So his ass got to pay for that shit, right? That, it, plain and simple. Yeah. And of course, I know not all of the victims were underage, but some of them were. They were. He, they were 16. Having, 16, having uh, orgies with 16, 17-year-old little girls, 15-year-old little girls. What the, what the fuck is on his mind? I don't see how people can make excuses for that. Like I said before, I don't care if he wasn't hunting them down. Right. Even I don't care if they were brought to his doorstep. Somebody can bring a little girl to my doorstep today and nothing going to happen to that little girl. You know why? Because I don't like children. I don't have a I don't sexualize or fetishize little babies. There's no way I could ever do that in my mind. I can't even talk to a little 18 year old girl. I can't do that. Right. And 18 is of legal consent. I could not do that. Right. He talking to 16, 15 year old girls and she's like, what? What's it like? Come on, man. Oh, well, they were brought to him. So because they were brought, he gets absolved for having sex with them little girl? Come on, man. That don't even sound right, right? And then I watched another grown-ass man say, yeah, he was sick for messing with kids at his age, of course. But, it's always a but, and the but is always absolving a person. But those girls knew what they were doing with an older man. Accountability needs to be met for the girls and their parents. Sir, are you a dumbass? Are you a dumbass, sir? He's a grown man who likes little girls, a pedophile. He knows what he was doing, right? Talking about the little girls know what they were doing. What? His ass know what he doing. A little girl is not developed. She's not developed enough cognitively to understand when, she, when she's being groomed for sex. She don't understand that, right? She just get amazed at an older man talking to her. And yes, parents tell their children, don't talk to a grown man, so on and so forth, right? But you know why it happens? Because a young girl does not understand she's being groomed by a predator. That's exactly what R. Kelly was doing with these little girls. Come on, man. 
kissing all on six uh 16 year old girls and shit. What are you doing, bro? Like what the fuck? Like having sex with a little girl, like even um marrying Aaliyah and allegedly getting allegedly getting her pregnant and all of that, right? We knew he married her. Right? What the how do y'all explain that? That's never okay. I don't give a fuck what time it was. That's never okay. Or oh, it was okay in that time period. No, it wasn't. Right? And everybody's saying that. Is the same grown ass man. I was a kid, right? I remember I was about 11 years old. My 13 year old um, older sister, she was two years older than me, right? You know, my sister was a young girl, pretty young girl. And these grown ass men would be looking at my little sister, right? Cat calling a little girl, a little fucking girl. And I was so mad because I understood that he was, these were grown ass men lusting for my sister at 13 years, years old. Those are the same motherfuckers that's raising people. That say shit like this. Oh, them was the same men, same men lusting for my uh, older sister when she was 13 years old. Uh, they were they raising the people saying dumb shit like this. Talking about they knew what they was doing. And I, what? He know what he was doing, fam. He know what he was doing. You know? And then saying a 16 or 17 year old girl knows what she's doing in the hands of a grown ass man is absolutely sickening. She don't know. Yeah, she know he grown, but she thinking, oh my God, this grown man likes me. Oh my God, right? He know, he know not to take advantage of a little baby. He know not to take advantage of a little girl that could be his daughter or something. He know better than that, but he gonna do it anyway because he feel like he R. Kelly, he on top of the world and the black folks are gonna always have an excuse for him because we like his fucking music. We know his ass can sing, but he did what the hell he did, fam. That's wrong. Why y'all trying to make excuses for it, man? I'm a father, man. Like, there's no way I could raise a little black girl and be making excuses for that, right? People, people are really out here making excuses for the pedophile they like. That's absolutely crazy, right? So then this is this, this is the kicker here, right? Then another dumbass comes out and says, black people don't talk about Elvis the way we talk about R. Kelly. Let's have that discussion. For one, when did black people ever give a flying fuck about Elvis? When did we ever care about Elvis? Black folks don't give a fuck about Elvis. He's not important to us in our community. We don't even we don't even acknowledge Elvis's. We don't even uh, acknowledge his existence. We don't acknowledge the existence of Elvis in our community. We never have. So why would we even try to talk about him to absolve to absolve R. Kelly of his actions? Why would we bring him up? We don't talk about him in this community. We don't hold him in high regard in our community. Honestly, man, white folks, the only people and non other non-black people are the only people who hold Elvis in high regard. We know he was stealing black folks' music and shit in our community. We don't give a fuck about no Elvis. So why we bring him up to absolve R. Kelly from, from, uh, from his wrongdoings? Furthermore, black people, stop fishing for white folks when the law catches up to black men who are out here living foul and heinous. Right? Stop fishing for white folks when, when you know a black man is out here living foul and heinous and really victimizing children in our community, right? I'm policing that, right? Yes, crimes against any other, any any baby is wrong, right? And I'm against it all. For sure, I'm against it all. But I'm for damn sure gonna police it in the black community when you when little when little black girls are getting violated because a lot of times people look over that shit in our community, right? When it's our cousins or our uncles and shit, or or the, the person that we really like, a famous person who got a lot of clout and cachet we look over it and young girls young black girls get victimized over and over again it's a cycle right i'm gonna end that shit in our community because we let it fly over our shoulder too fucking much right and he's out here he's preying on little black girls and for the person who said he ain't out here hunting man we've been hearing stories i'm from chicago illinois we are from the south side to be specific we've been hearing stories about him up going up to kenwood high school for a long ass time and i don't know why i wasn't checked back then Sitting up there, his grown ass parked outside of Kenwood High School, out here looking for little little ass girls instead of women his age. That's a problem. Why the fuck was he doing stuff like that? You know what I mean? But again, I don't, this man was out here hunting, hunting on, or and preying on little black girls. I got a little black daughter. I got little black nieces. I got a little black um little sister. Right? And she's grown now, but I had, my little sister was a little girl. You know what I'm saying? When all this shit was going on, I couldn't. But what? You think I'm going to look over it and let it pass by? There's no way I'm as, I am, I as a black man I'm going to out here let other black children get violated because this pedophile is famous and he makes songs that sound real good that we sing at the damn barbecue or the family get together. I'm not going to let that shit ride. I don't give a fuck how good he can sing. Right? So, yes, I have a vested interest in getting R. Kelly ass the fuck out of here because 
he likes to prey on little black girls. Black girls. And again, don't take this wrong. I'm against predatory behavior and pedophilia in, um, amongst all children, right? But I'm damn sure going to police it in the black community because it needs to be policed super, super hard because a lot of times if it's our cousin or somebody in our family or the pedophile is super popular, black folks let it ride. Don't tell the police on a person and a person keeps walking around the neighborhood with a chance to victimize another black girl. So I'm not going to let this shit ride. It's important to black folks for us to do this to us, to, for our community, because he's he was praying on black girls that could have been your fucking daughter. Yo, niece, and all that. It won't happen to mine. You don't know what the fuck your kids do when they out your sight. I'm sorry for cursing so much, but it's just like, I'm, uh, it's killing me, man. Stop using other perverts to deflect from the pervert that y'all like more. It doesn't make sense, man. And again, stop protecting famous pedophiles. Like, for real, ain't y'all tired of that happening in our community? For real, man, I, I promise y'all, if R. Kelly was, a, was the dude up the street, I'm looking at something. If R. Kelly was the dude up the street, up the block, a random dude, nobody would be mad that he got uh, sentenced to 30 years unless the person was one of the family members or somebody that we really, really knew and cared or, or liked or something like that, or famous or something. But if it was a random dude up the street that got 30 years and he did everything that R. Kelly was doing, everybody would be fine with it. Nobody would have a problem with it. But because he make that damn step in the name of love and happy people and all of that, everybody can't let it go. Oh, man, they did him wrong. What? What? After I seen him, we know he married a little girl and allegedly got her pregnant, but we know he was out here having sex with a little baby on camera and urinated on a little baby, 15-year-old girl, out here grooming little girls for sex and we letting that ride. I don't... Come on, man. What is, where is that solid at? Come on, man. When a pervert is famous or he's revered in our community, you know what I'm saying? In some way, black folks come out in droves, come out in droves to build up a, to build up a protection agency for that person. Knock it the fuck off. Cut that out. Cut it out, man. Like it's just it's it's so crazy to me, man. They knew what they was doing. He know what he doing with his grown ass. Everybody got all the excuses in the world for dude, man. I don't like that. That's not solid. That's clown shit. Y'all got to cut it out, man. Like it's it's black dudes in the community. It's black women too. That's the thing. It's black women. Oh, them girls was just hot in the ass. They know what he was. Get R. Kelly out of jail, man. Cause you want to have sex with R. Kelly all the time, and you. You cool with it. You like him and you like his music does not mean that other people are okay with him sexualizing their babies. Okay? Because you want to have sex with him, man. That's not his, that does not mean that other children, other adults are okay with him sexualizing their children and having sex with their babies. Because you want to have sex with him, man. Ma'am, cut that out. And it's grown-ass black women, 50, 40, 60, they were just hot in the ass. Man, get the fuck out of here. Get that shit up. Get that old-ass shit up out of here. Nah, these grown ass men know what the fuck they doing. So get that old ass rhetoric all that. We when we were kids. We knew. Now we knew better because them girls was just hot in the ass. No. Them grown ass men back then was out there grooming little girls for sex too. So yeah. Yeah, yo, your next door neighbor, he talked to that little 15 year old girl. She it, it wasn't just cause she was hot in the ass, it's cause he wanted that young girl. Cause he knew he could manipulate her. Right? And if your granddaddy was out here messing with 15 year olds. Your granddaddy was a predator, a pedophile. It is what it is. All right? You know, you're just going to be mad. But all of that, man, come on, man. Again, these girls are not all 18 and up. They were not all 18 and up. And me, myself, I'm not talking to no 18-year-old girl. I'm too damn grown. But these girls, some of these girls were 15, 16, 17, under that 18 age of consent. They were under that age. And he was out here having orgies and threesomes with little ass girls, knowing they age, telling, telling, uh, telling the girls to say they were another age to stop him from getting in trouble. And he was aided by his team around him. Also, yeah, there were some parents that gave their children to him, and they were wrong as hell for that. But we're not gonna put all this shit like, oh, the parents, like the parents need to get in trouble. So we gonna, yeah, the parents need to be in trouble for that. But he shouldn't be absolved for none of this shit he carried out at all. So cut it out, knock it off, man. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.